Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome back to Hack Cam Bass. It's uh, middle of March and we're out here again trying to complete our MTB Slam for this month uh, using the baits from the MTB Pro Box. You can check out our unboxing video to see what we're using. But we have some good springtime baits. We're uh, pretty much in the uh, middle of the spawn here in North Texas. Um, so it's been a little tough to find fish that are on beds because of uh, some. Uh, we've had a lot of rain plus some uh, fluctuating uh, temperatures have kind of made it difficult to actually be in the right place at the right time. But um, we're going to give it a shot today. Uh, we have, Like I said, we have some great springtime baits, so I'm not too concerned about catching them. Alright, I found a fish on a bed, or near a bed, down here. It's in about two, three feet of water. Uh, the water's a little murky. I've thrown some baits down there to see how the fish will react. And uh, it's ready to go. Um, it's it's pretty locked on there. It's probably a male. Not quite sure yet. But um, I'm having a hard time seeing it. I can see the outline with my polarized sunglasses. But mostly I'm looking for uh, when the fish is um, sucking in water. You can see the, the gills flapping and also their mouth open. It's a very good way to see the fish. And I've thrown a chatterbait down there just to see how it re would react. And uh, it's pretty aggressive. It's ready to go. So I'm going to take a football head jig, um, the all-terrain football head jig from the uh, Mystery Tackle Box. We're going to toss it down there. I don't think it'll take more than a few casts. And uh, we'll land that fish. All right guys, it's gonna do it for our MTB Slam attempt for March, using the baits from the MTB box. Pretty good day of fishing, we caught three today in a couple hours of fishing at the local pond behind me here. 
Uh, the weather was nice. Uh, the first one we caught was a bedfish um, with the football head jig. Uh, sight fishing for bedfish is one of my favorite things to do. So that was a lot of fun. That fish that we found was ready to go. It was not hard to catch that one. Um, the uh, next fish we caught, we had one of those uh, drop shot worms, the Japanese drop shot worm from Rains. We uh, rigged that on the back of a chatterbait uh, because I've been catching them out here on chatterbait. So uh, I rigged that up to see if it would work and it did. That was fish number two. And then uh, right before we left, uh, we caught one more small one on the Cinco style worm, the watermelon red Cinco. So a uh, three out of five, uh, not bad for MTV slam attempt in just a short amount of time. Uh, but overall, once again, really good baits in the, um, in the box. Um, some baits that are really going to work well uh, for the springtime. Uh, that's going to do it for the uh, slam attempt. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do me a favor and check out mysterytacobox.com. Also check out their YouTube page. Um, they have a lot of uh, nice content going up recently. So head on over there and subscribe. Um, you're really going to like their service as well. So I highly recommend it. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. which we also call the bait caster and the spinning reel. Over here we have our handle, which we turn to reel in. On the handle are the grips. And this is what we rely on for power to make a cast, to fight a fish, work a bait. And as you might have guessed, each type of rod is designed to go with a specific type of reel. Handle and our grip. And what's nice about most spinning reels is you can switch the handle to the other side depending on what's most comfortable for you.